Okay, so you've taken your foot off of that chain stopper. Okay. Go ahead and pull it in. Now we've been, I've been told or read. Pretty slick. Okay, bring it a little bit tighter and see if your clutch is, there you go, your clutch is slipping, so that's great. That's the design of the clutch to slip. Now, if your clutch does not slip by design, and then your motor binds up, what's the next thing that will be a safety step? The circuit breaker for that big motor yes. will pop the circuit breaker, and that circuit breaker will be a 125, 150, 75, or 200 amp circuit breaker, or maybe even a fuse that big. Mm -hmm. So you're protected two ways, both with the clutch, or think of a drag on a rod and reel, the clutch, or with the circuit breaker. Okay, so we're good there. Cool. Why don't you try it, Lisa? Okay. Now this thing flipped Hold over. This. It did indeed. So I don't think it was upside that back installed backwards. It just flipped over. Well, it was upside down when we got here. So maybe somebody did not do it on purpose, but it was that way. Um, huh? Tough ass. Hold your shoe or whatever. See if you can let it out, and if it'll flip back in the right. Way. No, it won't. Isn't that interesting? Wait a minute. Don't want to get my fingers. Exactly. Okay, Ready? try it. Try it. Yeah. So, I think that is a 516 chain and that's a 38 chain stopper. So, they're mismatched in size. Mm -hmm. I think that's what the problem is. But because you've got that lanyard right there, mm -hmm. you don't really need the chain stopper to prevent the anchor from jumping overboard accidentally. Just Great put that point. lanyard on it. Great point. So for, we could take this thing off. Yep, and save it for the day 20 years from now when you sell the boat, it'll still be with the boat. There you go. Unlike you the anchor winch handle that you don't have right. because they lost it before they sold you the boat. Okay. So we're having fun. Yeah, it's your fine. turn. Okay.